Now let us proceed with further discussions on 5.1 vectors in three dimensions. Now let us look at the second example. So for example 2, we have position vectors of point A and B given by vector A 3i plus 2j minus k, vector B 2i minus j plus 3k. So there are three parts of the question. First, find the vector AB and then magnitude of AB also unit vector to AB. And then the third part, we need to find the position vector of point P. So position vector is going to be OP later, which divides AB in the ratio of 1 to 2. Alright, let's do this one by one. So for part A over here, what we're going to do is, okay, so you are given uh, the vectors over here. Okay, so vector of A is given by 3i plus 2j minus k. Alright, and the second one for B, we are given the vector is 2i minus j plus 3k all right so a and b so for the position back for the first part you need to find vector a b all right so to find vector a b what we have to do is we must take that in uh, in, pos in position with uh, the origin okay so a b minus sorry o b minus o a all right so OB is this position vector that we have, right? Vector B is actually OB. So what we have over here is you will take 2i minus j my plus 3k over here minus with 3i plus 2j minus k. Alright? So then we will just do like what we did just now. Just take the same component and minus. So 2 minus 3 is negative i. And then you have negative 1 minus 2. That will be minus 3j. And then we have plus 4k. Right? So negative negative will be a positive. Okay. So that is a, b. Right? And the second part of question. That is the vector AB. Now, second part, we need to find the magnitude of vector AB. So, taking the magnitude, we will take each component and squaring each number. Okay, so negative 1 square plus negative 3 squared plus with 4 squared. Okay, and then square root all these values together. Okay, so this one is 4. Alright, and then uh, just solving this, we're going to get square root of 26. Okay, so this is the magnitude of AB. And then for the unit vector of AB, okay, so the next part you need to find is the unit vector of vector AB. Okay, so that is given by the vector AB over the magnitude of the vector AB. Alright, so just simply write this back together. So we will have negative 1 over 26i and then minus with 3 over 26j and then plus with 4 over 26k. Right, so that is for part B of the question. To find the magnitude and unit vector of AB. So for the next part of example 2, you need to find the position vector of point P which divides AB in the ratio of 1 to 2. So what we can write down is, um, we actually have uh, the ratio is so position vector which divides AB in the ratio of 1 to 2. So what we have is AP okay, over PB is equals to 1 over 2. 
Okay, so divide A, B in the ratio of 1 to 2. So, we are taking the position from A to P and P to B. That is the ratio of 1 to 2. Okay, so what we have over here is actually 2 times a vector A, P is equal to the vector of P, B. Alright, so this is the first statement that we can take after taking the ratio. So what we have over here is to get to the vector of AP, we must have OP, okay, so minus with OA, vector OA. That is equals to, so for PB, that is the same as position vector OB minus with OP. Alright, so this is what we have. And now when we expand this and simplify, Okay, so this part, uh, we will have that 3 OP is equals to um, 2 OA, vector OA, and then plus with vector OB, like this. Okay, so 3 OP that we have on this side, and then we will simplify this one. So we have the value for 2 OA plus OB. So 2 times the vector of OA that we have just now, that is the same as the position vector A. Okay, so A that we have just now is 3i plus 2j and then minus k. Okay, and then plus with OB, so vector B is 2i minus j and then plus with 3k okay so this is what we have and then we can say that okay so just simplify these two vectors together then we can see that we have 1 over 3 so this one is 6i plus 2i that will be 8i this one is 4 minus 1 that is plus 3j and then we have negative 2 plus 3 that is positive k, like this. Okay, so this is the position vector of point P which divides AB in the ratio of 1 to 2. Right, so this is our final answer for this question. Now, let us look at the conclusion and recap back on what we have already learned in subtopic 5.1. The first one is the addition and subtraction of vectors. So for addition of vectors, what we are taking is the same component for axis x, y and z, which is component i, j and k. So we take a1 plus b1 of i, a2 plus b2 of component j and a3 plus b3 for component k. And the same goes for the subtraction of the vectors. So we're going to take a1 minus b1 for i plus A2 minus B2 for J, plus A3 minus B3 for K. The second one is the multiplication of a vector by a scalar. So if we take scalar K multiply with vector A, we are actually just taking the scalar K multiply with each component of vector A that we have. So we take KA1I plus K times A2 of J, plus k times a3 of the component for k. The next one is the magnitude of a vector, which is represented as the modulus of vector a. The formula is given by the square root of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 squared. And the last one that we have already learned is the unit vector. Unit vector is given by the formula of vector A divided by the magnitude of vector A. Now, before we end our lecture for today, so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today. So I hope that you are able to understand our lecture for today and I hope that our learning objective is achieved. So please check uh, your understanding and make sure that you don't hesitate to ask around if you have any problems. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.